Thomas? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. Well, 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 kids. Hi guys, welcome to my interactive video. It's not interactive. What are you talking about, you absolute sponge? This is my um, thoughts on the trailer for The Matrix Resurrections. The only thing I would really have preferred to have seen is if they'd called it The Matrix Rebooted. <laughs> mm. Yes, well, uh, and the, the trailer does look bloody good. Um, yes, I was kind of concerned. I thought, oh god, there's a fourth Matrix movie coming out. What are we going to be getting? Now, I did have a, a small hope in my heart that it was going to be like a prequel. So we get to see the war between the machines and the humans. I know you got this in the Animatrix. It's part of an animated short. But a big full budget human on robot war would have been mm, sensational, I think. So the trailer opens up with Neil Patrick Harris. I was quite surprised. I didn't realise he was attached to the project. Great actor. Very happy. I wouldn't be surprised though if he turns out being some reincarnation of the architect and he's sort of been trying to subdue Neo a wee bit and make him feel better about his pishy life. How they're going to explain Neo dying in the last movie, Matrix Revolutions, compared to this one, same with Trinity, they're, they're back, they don't really know each other, it's very strange, obviously this is like yet another iteration of the Matrix. Because like, at the end of Matrix Revolutions, they're like, oh, there's, um, they're going to free all the humans into a wasted planet. What, what would even be the point? Are they just going to go, you're in a Matrix, but by the way, the world's fucked. So, we're not going to actually let you out the pods because, well, you'd be facing a hellish existence and you'd have to eat this white shite pish for dinner. I don't even know what the fuck it is. There's no wildlife left. It's basically protein chuck. Nobody wants to fucking eat that, so we're going to keep you where you are. We're just going to treat you better. Have a raise with your job, right? Because, well, it's not real anyway, so... Have a party! I wonder if there's a Matrix within a Matrix, then? Is this is this the Matrix within the Matrix within the Matrix within the Matrix? Because that was like a, a rumour, a, a, a fan theory that, oh, the Matrix is in a Matrix, and the actual Matrix they're in... Is a matrix within a matrix? The real world is another matrix with another matrix behind it. That's ridiculous, too confusing for my brain. But you know, you never know. The, the sad thing about this movie is, is that Lawrence Fishburne isn't back. Neither's Hugo Weaving. I don't mind so much. But Hugo Weaving's can't make sense. Smith was a virus, and he was blipped out of existence by the robot. Incarnation of the architect back in Robot City. I think it's just it's called Zero One or something like that. But it's a whole planet now, so maybe the whole planet's just called Zero One rather than Earth. I don't know. Very intriguing. The trailer looks wonderful. The effects look brilliant. Um, cautiously optimistic. In fact, I'm probably a little bit more than that. I'm probably actually what I'm probably in low levels of hype at this moment in time. I'm like, oh, here, I'm in low levels of hype, which can be a disastrous thing, but. Even the soundtrack, and, and it morphs into this really fucking sinister sounding thing towards the end of the trailer. It's, oh man, it's good. They know how to cut a trailer. I mean, it's... Say what you want about the Star Wars movies, they, know, they knew how to cut good trailers. And this is, no, this is no exception. I know it's not the same people, but I'm just, you know, giving you an example of a movie that didn't really live to up to expectations. It was the... the the, the sequel trilogy of Star Wars movies, but they did cut really good trailers, I think. And this is the same, cut a really excellent trailer. The Wachowskis are back uh, directing it. I'm sure it's both of them. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's both of them. They are back directing. Fantastic. Getting all the original people back. It's just it's a great thing. It's a good move. It's what you what I would want, unless it's you know got Ridley Scott attached to it and it's called the Alien Covenant. But you think, oh my god, they get the original writer back of Alien and makes fucking hours of it. So I'm hoping this is not going to be another Alien Covenant because I could really be doing without that shit. 
And I think the whole world could really be doing without that shit. Now all we need now, now all we need now, 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 is for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City to launch a trailer. A movie that's out in less than two months. No trailer, very strange. And this is out this year. This is at Christmas time this year. I think I'm actually going to go see it in the cinema. I'm sort of like, you know, those hype levels of... It's maybe level two hype now, towards the end of this video that I'm... Mm, yes. Some nice new young fresh faces in this. Obviously you've got the, the actor that's standing in for Morpheus because Lawrence Fishman didn't want to come back and do it. And do you know what? I'm, I'm not actually opposed to that idea. This could just be another incarnation of the Morpheus character. I mean, they're in a Matrix after all. He might have just made himself look younger. Who knows? But it's uh, how they're going to explain Trinity and Neo dying in the real world, which now I think is not the real world. Uh, and they're back, and they're older. We don't use that word in here. So there's, there's, there's been some jiggery pokery happening here. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain now that Matrix Revolutions and Matrix Reloaded was all just one big, one big Matrix, one big ploy by the architect to to, to get rid of Smith, basically, because they knew after the Neo defeated Smith, he was supposed to do what he was told, didn't. And then they're like, oh shit, we can't stop him because we're crap. We're actually going to need, we're going to need some sort of like, help, outside help. We can't just go and roll up to the humans and ask, they'll just kill us. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll just roll up to the humans and kill them first. And then that'll, that'll solidify Neo's mind that, fuck yous, we need to destroy these pricks. And then he'll do everything that he can to make it to the... The, uh, the robot city, which he did, and I'll pretend that I don't like him, and I'll, I'll give him a job, and then job done, Smith's away, we'll put the Matrix back the way it was in the first movie, which looked like the real world, and then uh, we'll, we'll just make this, we'll, we'll, something else is happening, maybe, maybe that, I don't know, I've absolutely no idea who the, who the antagonist is going to be, I've heard rumours about the Oracle being a secret bad guy, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm, I've got a warm fuzzy feeling after watching this trailer, I've got a warm fuzzy feeling, I think it's going to be a good film, I just hope it makes sense. Please explain it in ways that I can understand, which is just usually, oh that's the bad guy, he kidded on, there was no outside world, we're all still in this big matrix, that was just another iteration to get the humans where we needed them to be, mentally. Not so much physically because they're all in fucking pods. And you do see those pods and you, you see squiddies. You see the sentinels, so... I'm... What is going on? I've got intrigue and that's good. And that's what you want a trailer to give you. You don't want a trailer to give away the game. You want the trailer to hook you, get you interested, get your intrigue nub nubbing in your brain going... And then get you into cinema and get your money for you. <laughs> and then you can buy the popcorn or whatever. In saying that, if this movie does have home premiere, I, I will just do that instead, because I'll be about 20 quid, so it's roughly about what 25, 30 pound for me and my boy to go see the movie anyway, so I might as well just spend the 20 pound and see the trip out of the town, because that also costs money. The popcorn costs money, but I can get that at a supermarket. Cinemas really will die off if they don't get rid of this home premiere stuff, and with rumours of another lockdown happening in October, or beyond, I can see the home premiere thing sticking around, especially if companies are making money. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I hope you're as excited for this as I am. But be cautiously optimistic. Don't get too hyped. Don't get don't get like ridiculous levels up because it could let you down. It could let us all down. I really don't think it will. I really hope it doesn't. But it could. Remember that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.